Welcome to Navy News Network on YouTube. Today, we dive deep into the world of one of the most formidable and secretive assets in the US Navy's arsenal, the Virginia-class submarine. In the shadowy, silent depths of the ocean, these advanced submarines glide undetected, their presence a potent reminder of America's strategic prowess. With the capability to shift the balance of power within minutes, the Virginia class represents the cutting edge of naval technology and strategy. Imagine a weapon so advanced it could obliterate an entire fleet of warships without ever being detected by the enemy. Picture an underwater fortress capable of remaining submerged for extended periods, maintaining a stealthy presence beneath the waves. This is the reality of the Virginia class nuclear submarine, a vessel designed to be a game changer in the arena of modern warfare potentially shaping the outcome of future global conflicts. The Virginia-class submarines are not just about raw power, they embody a blend of advanced technology, strategic innovation, and high-stakes military strategy. As geopolitical tensions rise and the threat of conflicts in regions such as the South China Sea or Taiwan loom large, these submarines might well become America's ace in the hole. However, beneath their impressive capabilities, these submarines also conceal a range of complexities and challenges, making them a fascinating subject of study. The Virginia-class submarines are a product of the combined efforts of two of the United States' foremost shipbuilding companies, General Dynamics Electric Boat and Huntington Ingalls Industries. These companies are among the only U.S. shipyards equipped to build nuclear-powered submarines, and their work on the Virginia-class represents the pinnacle of submarine design and construction. These submarines are designed with a combination of stealth technology, intelligence gathering capabilities, and the latest weapon systems. Their versatility allows them to undertake a wide range of missions, from open ocean operations to coastal defense. The Virginia-class submarines are equipped to handle anti-submarine warfare, among other roles, making them highly adaptable to various strategic needs. The development of the Virginia-class submarine was no small feat. The design process alone required around 35 million work hours. To put this into perspective, building a single Virginia-class submarine involves about 9 million work hours and the contributions of over 5,000 suppliers. Each submarine is expected to undertake 14 to 15 deployments throughout its 33-year service life. The US Navy plans to continue acquiring these submarines until at least 2042, with their operational life potentially extending into the 2070s. The first Virginia-class submarine, referred to as Block I, measures 377 feet in length, 34 feet in width, and displaces 7,800 tons when submerged. The Block I series included four submarines built using modular construction techniques. Each submarine was assembled from 10 separate modules, with the construction process taking approximately seven years per vessel. This modular approach allowed for efficient construction and the integration of advanced technologies. Following Block I, the Block II submarines were introduced. This block included six submarines built in just four sections, rather than the ten modules used in Block I. This shift in construction methodology resulted in significant cost savings, approximately $300 million per unit. Additionally, Block II submarines were constructed under a multi-year procurement agreement, which further reduced costs by an estimated $400 million, or $80 million per ship. The Block III submarines represented a major leap forward in design and capability. These submarines featured an improved bow design with a large aperture bow, lab, sonar array and two vertical launch system, VLS, tubes, each capable of carrying six missiles. The lab sonar array, a significant technological advancement, replaced the traditional spherical sonar arrays used in previous US Navy submarines. The lab array is shaped like a horseshoe and incorporates both passive and medium frequency active sonar, offering enhanced detection capabilities. Block 3 submarines also underwent a 40% redesign of the bow, optimizing their sonar performance. The introduction of Block IV submarines took the Virginia class to new heights in terms of both cost and capability. The Block IV contract, awarded on April 28, 2014, was the largest submarine construction contract ever issued with a value of $17.6 billion for 10 submarines. This block included enhancements such as reducing major maintenance periods from four years to three and increasing the overall lifetime usage of each submarine. The latest iteration, Block V, is even more advanced. 
Measuring 461 feet in length and weighing 10,200 tons, Block B submarines are designed with a longer hull to accommodate the Virginia Payload Module VPM. This module adds extra cruise missile tubes, significantly increasing the submarine's strike capacity. Block V submarines can travel underwater at speeds exceeding 25 knots, all while remaining stealthy and hidden for extended periods. The Block V design includes 10 submarines and the option to incorporate the VPM, which is expected to double the missile capacity of each submarine. Block V submarines are equipped with 12 vertical launch system VLS, tubes for Tomahawk missiles, 4 torpedo tubes for MK-48 torpedoes or Harpoon missiles, and a total of 65 torpedoes and missiles. This configuration makes them highly versatile and capable of delivering a wide range of munitions. The Virginia Payload Module VPM, integrated into the Block B submarines, will enhance their strike capabilities even further. The construction of the first two Block B submarines was initially scheduled to begin in 2019 but faced delays, pushing the start date to 2020. Contracts for long lead materials were awarded to General Dynamics Electric Boat, with the VPM expected to be installed in the second Block B submarine, SSN-803. The Block V submarines equipped with the VPM are anticipated to significantly increase the submarine's ability to strike coastal targets. The Virginia-class submarines have evolved significantly since the launch of the SSN-774 class in 2003. The original Block I model was equipped with 12 VLS tubes for Tomahawk missiles and 4 torpedo tubes. The Block III version replaced the VLS with Virginia payload tubes, each capable of carrying 6 missiles. The Block V submarines, now under construction, will feature the Virginia payload module, adding four large vertical launch tubes armed with seven Tomahawk missiles each. This enhancement brings the total missile capacity to 40 tubes, allowing for strikes from up to 1,000 miles away. The Virginia-class submarine's ability to remain hidden, detect targets without being detected, and escape swiftly makes them exceptionally formidable. The ideal opponent for a nuclear submarine is another submarine, and the Virginia-class excels in this role. This capability is so impressive that Australia has decided to replace its Collins-class diesel submarines with five Virginia-class submarines in the 2030s. Given the low production rate, the US Navy is collaborating with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, to address technological barriers and reduce costs. Innovations being explored include propulsion concepts that do not rely on a centerline shaft and externally stored and launched weapons, among other advancements. These efforts aim to enhance the efficiency and affordability of submarine construction. The Virginia-class submarines also feature modular universal masts, developed by L3 Keo. These masts are designed to support and integrate various antennas and sensors. The universal mast design includes snorkel masts, photonic masts, and communication masts, among others. Photonic masts replace traditional periscopes with advanced photonic sensors, including high-resolution cameras, infrared sensors, and electronic support measures. The masts provide improved visibility and capability, with future upgrades likely to include low-profile photonic masts for enhanced stealth. Propelled by a base systems pump jet, the Virginia-class submarines are also equipped with an open system sonar array. This design allows for the quick insertion of new hardware and software, ensuring that the submarines remain at the forefront of technological advancements. The sonar suite includes a range of systems, such as the bow-mounted BQQ-10 active and passive arrays, high-frequency sonars, and low-frequency towed arrays. Additionally, the submarines are equipped with rescue equipment, including submarine escape systems, carbon dioxide scrubbers, and emergency position indicating radio beacons. Future upgrades for the Virginia-class submarines may include high-energy laser weapons, potentially integrated into the photonic mast. These laser weapons are designed to have an output power of 300 to 500 kilowatts, based on the submarine's 30-megawatt reactor capacity. Other enhancements include a fiber-optic ship control system to replace the hydraulic system, a command and control system module, and an integrated lockout chamber. The development of the Virginia-class submarines was driven by the need for a cost-effective solution to replace the aging Los Angeles-class submarines. In the early 1980s, the US Navy faced the challenge of countering new Soviet submarine technologies. 
Initially, the Navy chose the advanced Seawolf class submarines, which cost $3 billion per unit. However, with only three Seawolf submarines ultimately built in the end of the Cold War reducing the need for such expensive platforms, the focus shifted to more affordable alternatives. The result was the Virginia-class submarine, which incorporates many of the advanced technologies from the Seawolf class but in a more cost-effective and adaptable form. This includes the latest version of the Virginia payload module, which is expected to cost $4.3 billion per submarine. The Virginia-class submarines are designed to provide a balance of capability and affordability, addressing the changing needs of the U.S. Navy. When comparing the Virginia-class submarines to their Russian and Chinese counterparts, such as Russia's Yasin M-class, the Virginia-class stands out in terms of stealth and sonar technology. While the Yasin M is heavily armed and technologically advanced, it does not match the Virginia-class's superior stealth and sensor capabilities. The Virginia-class submarines are designed to be nearly invisible to enemy detection systems, giving them a strategic advantage in both offensive and defensive roles. One of the significant challenges facing the Virginia-class submarines is maintenance. Spare parts for these submarines wear out faster than expected, leading to longer maintenance periods. The U.S. Navy faces capacity issues in its shipyards, resulting in maintenance delays that impact the operational readiness of the fleet. Approximately one-third of the Navy's attack submarines are non-operational at any given time due to maintenance requirements. Addressing these challenges will be crucial for maintaining the Virginia-class submarines' effectiveness in the years to come. The Royal Australian Navy is set to benefit from the Virginia-class submarines as part of its plans to replace its Collins-class submarines. The US Navy also aims to expand its fleet to 72 attack submarines, with plans to acquire two Virginia-class submarines per year between 2025 and 2028. However, the current shipyard capacity limits production, which could delay these plans. Despite these challenges, the Virginia-class submarines are expected to remain the backbone of the U.S. attack submarine fleet. Looking ahead, the Virginia-class submarines will continue to be a critical component of the U.S. Navy's strategy. With ongoing upgrades and enhancements, including advanced sonar systems, stealth technology, and potential laser weapons, these submarines will maintain their position as one of the most powerful and versatile assets in the naval arsenal. Thank you for joining us for this in-depth look at the Virginia-class submarine. We hope this exploration of its design, capabilities, and strategic importance has provided valuable insights into one of the most advanced and formidable assets in modern naval warfare. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates and in-depth analyses on military technology and naval strategy.